So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. Eight. Now we're stepping our game up in terms of logs compared to that last one. If we have log base 2 of m equals x and log base 2 of n equals y, then m times n equals what? And unfortunately, we have this. I know students hate to see this, cannot be determined. Um, we never like to choose that one, but it's always a little scary when it's there because you it really, it, it's the fear that you might waste time trying to play around with this and then not be able to get it to look like one of these. But let's take a look. So we've been given these two facts. Let's just write these down again, even though they're right there. Sometimes rewriting things helps generate some ideas. We have log base 2 of m equals x and log base 2 of n equals y. Well, let's talk about what, how these can be rewritten in exponential form. In general, if we have, let's just take um, log base a of b equals c. What does this really mean? If we want to rewrite this in exponential form, we can take the base a and raise it to the exponent c and the result will be b. So anytime you have a base raised to an exponent equaling a result, you can rewrite that as a logarithmic expression. You just take log with whatever base, in this case it's a, and you raise it, I'm sorry, of, of b, where b is the result, and it equals c. So the way I remember this is c is the exponent that the base is being raised to, so c is what a is being raised to, that equals this result. It takes a little getting used to, but let's apply it here and hopefully you can see it happen. So if log base 2 of m equals x, 2 is the base, x is the power that it's being raised to, and m is the result. So this is the exponential version of this equation. These two things mean the exact same thing. They're not different at all. They're just two different ways of expressing the same mathematical relationship. And we can apply the same logic here. 2 is the base, y is the exponent that 2 is being raised to, and n is the result. And now it be actually becomes quite easy to say, okay, what is m times n? m times n must be what m equals times what n equals. So m times n is 2 to the x times 2 to the y. And what do we do when we multiply two terms with the same base? We add their exponents. 2 to the x plus y. And if that feels a little funny, it's probably because you have a number as the base and a variable as the exponent. You're more like you're more used to seeing things like x to the a times x to the b and the answer is x to the a plus b but this is really no different All right, 2 is the base so 2 to the x times 2 to the y is 2 to the x plus y and the best choice is a and we don't have to worry about e not being able to be determined fortunately hi thanks for watching if anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help drop me an email leave a comment or give me a call I answer every message and if you want to check out more videos like this visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.